You give me some of that Thanksgiving pie. <laughs> Name a farm animal a turkey might imitate to escape being eaten at Thanksgiving. Jeannie? A pig. A pig. Horse. A horse. Oh. You want to play, Jeannie? We're going to play. Gonna They're going to play. play. Yeah. Elaine, Hi. how are you doing? I'm fine, thank what you. What do you do? I am an admission director at a private school in Newport Coast, California. Wow. Well, name a farm animal that a turkey might imitate to escape being eaten at Thanksgiving. A cow. The cow. Oh, and and a cow. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Scott, what do you say, partner? How's it going? I'm good, man. Good. What do you do? I am a professional tennis player, and I'm recently married to one of these twins. I can't remember which one. <laughs> can't remember which one? <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> Don't you love him? Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking it would be the kayaker. <laughs> you know, athletes, they kind of... Smart guess. I came right down to you. <laughs> yeah. Was I right, Scott? You were right. Good. Very nice good. joke, though. Like <laughs> well, name a farm animal turkey might imitate to escape being eaten at Thanksgiving. I'd say a chicken. The, <laughs> the chicken! <laughs> hey, Richard. How you doing, man? What do you think, sir? The dog. The dog. <laughs> right. 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 Nobody eats the dog. There you go. Hey. Olympic. Marie. A rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. The rabbit. Oh. Right. We only got one got strike. Jeannie, got name a farm animal. Turkey might imitate to avoid getting eaten at Thanksgiving. I have it. A okay. sheep. A sheep. A good answer. The sheep. That was a good answer. I like oh, that. Oh no! Two strikes, Elaine. Uh huh. You don't want this no, to be on you. No, I'm not going down on mine. Okay. Well, I got it. two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. No problem. Okay. So I'm Greek, and I'm going with a goat. Yes! The goat. Yeah. The goat. <laughs> What else? Give me a farm animal that a turkey might imitate to escape getting eaten at Thanksgiving. Let's try duck. That duck! Yeah. Yeah. Let's see number five. Goose. Top eight answers are on the board. Name something a wife might yell at her husband for doing on Thanksgiving Day. Derek. Burning the turkey. Burning the turkey. <laughs> Watching TV. Sports. Watching sports. Woo! Pass a play. Well played, Steve. Well They're going to play, Derek. <laughs> Anna Marie, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. Okay. Name something a wife might yell at her husband for doing on Thanksgiving Day. Not helping set the table. Not <laughs> helping <laughs> set the table. <laughs> Carmine, how you doing, man? Good, good, good. Name something a wife might yell at her husband for doing on Thanksgiving Day. Sleeping in too late. Yeah. Right. Sleeping yeah. in too late. Yeah. Maria, how you doing? I'm excellent, thank you. Name something a wife might yell at her husband for doing on Thanksgiving Day. Not helping with the cleanup. Not helping with the cleanup. Steven, how you doing, I'm man? very good. How are you? What do you do, sir? I'm a general contractor and a real estate developer. But wow. most important, I'm a proud husband to that beautiful girl right down the row here, Anna Maria. Wow, oh, there you go, jackpot. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Oh. We marry good-looking women. Absolutely. That's what we've done. We've yes, married man. up. You and I... You and I, I Steven, you. are not worthy of the women we have. Oh, you couldn't say it more. We are more ever true. proving the truth. ourselves to be worthy of their mere presence and love. Not worthy. And when we are allowed to partake of this love, it is one of the most gratifying moments of our life. Absolutely. And it drives us <laughs> to work harder 
every day to provide for the family that we've donned in their mere presence. Amen. Amen. Where have you been? My wife is in the back. All right, man, let's go. Name something a wife might yell at her husband for doing on Thanksgiving Day. Steve, I'm going to go with being late for dinner. Being late for dinner. Being late for dinner. All right. Luigi, how you doing, man? Fine, doing fine. Good, good. Where you folks from? We're from Boston, Mass. Boston, Mass. Yeah. Bring it on. Bring it on. Luigi, we got two strikes, man. If it's there, you're still alive. If it's not there, Lewis family can get ready to steal. Name something a wife might yell at her husband for doing on Thanksgiving Day. How about not helping prep in the cooking? Not help cooking. Not help you know, me how's that? Not help cooking. Cook. 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 All right, all right. Lewis family, here we go. This is your chance, Derek. Name something a wife might yell at her husband for doing on Thanksgiving Day. We're going to say fighting with the in-laws. Yeah. Fighting with the in-laws. <laughs> Let's see number two. Eat your snack Number five. Bad Bad turkey carving. (laughs) Six. Drink it, Missy. Oh, yeah. Number eight. (laughs) Burping. Name something that might ruin your Thanksgiving day. Georgia? Burnt turkey. Burnt turkey. (laughs) Yeah. Georgia? They're going to play. Gina, tell me something that might ruin your Thanksgiving day. Okay, I'm going to say a family feud. A family feud? (laughs) (laughs) I mean, verbatim. Rachel, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a substitute teacher, but I've been married three times, and I'm looking for number four. Go ahead. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, we got a little love connection here. Okay, fellas, if you're out there, she's looking for somebody who's exciting. Uh, a little, gambler. A gambler. Uh, someone will take me out to eat because I don't like to cook. She don't like to cook. Okay. Don't want nobody with a... Uh, you don't want the little scooter guy. No. No, no you ain't a scooter. You're pulling up in a scooter everywhere we go just... She don't want that. She I already had that. You had that already? Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want to know what happened to the <laughs> poor guy. Probably he just... died. He died. <laughs> he died and she laughed. So, obviously, the little scooter got away from him. <laughs> he rolled out into some traffic. <laughs> I'm in trouble. But I think she has a sense of humor, so that's what she's saying. Anybody out there? <laughs> Look at this kid right here. <laughs> she said, boy, you can't begin to spell cougar. <laughs> I like that. That was really good. So, Ray Jean, here we go. Name something that might ruin your Thanksgiving day. People getting drunk. People getting drunk. People getting drunk. <laughs> Like it. only one strike. Jamie, name something that might ruin your Thanksgiving day. I'm gonna say no one shows up. <laughs> yeah. I don't mess it up. Nobody shows up. <laughs> Debbie? Yes. What do you think it is? Name something that might ruin your Thanksgiving day. I think it would be when my sports team would lose. <laughs> you know what? Good answer. Good answer, Mom. That has happened before. It has. Or my if team your sport team loses. Oh. That was a good answer, though. Georgia, two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. If not, Spiegel family can get ready to steal. A diet. A diet. <laughs> Being on a diet. Oh. Here we go. Name something that might ruin your Thanksgiving day, Janice. If you have to work on Thanksgiving. 
If you have to work on Thanksgiving. Number three. Bad. Number four. Name something a person might do right after eating a big Thanksgiving dinner. Taylor. Take a nap. Take a nap. Play. Pass or play? Play. They don't play, bro. <laughs> Step, what do you think it is? Name something a person might do after eating a big Thanksgiving dinner. I would say unbutton their pants. Oh, yeah. Unbutton right. your pants. <laughs> uh, let's see. I feel pretty comfortable with this one. You should. You should. Can't say nothing crazy here. here it's a good go. one. Well, let's see. Okay, Megan. Burp. Burp. Okay, <laughs> Burp. <laughs> no strikes, Glenn. No strikes. <laughs> But we've come down here with you several times with no strikes. And <laughs> yes, sir. Somehow we always walk away with one. Glenn, name something a person might do right after eating a big Thanksgiving dinner. Have leftovers. <laughs> right there. Right after. Right after you get through eating. Great big old Thanksgiving dinner. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna eat some leftovers. <laughs> yeah! Uh, I love this guy. Uh, huh? I love you, man. Just that, man. I don't disappoint, huh? I'll tell you what, if y'all win a car, it ain't gonna be cause of you. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Woo! This family, they winning from here down. Oh, they took me high five. Yeah, that's my man. Yeah. <laughs> One strike, and because we all know why. <laughs> Name something a person might do right after eating a big Thanksgiving dinner. Do the dishes. Do the dishes. <laughs> we got two strikes, Taylor. Watch football. Watch football, yeah. Watch football. <laughs> Step, you got two strikes. Name something a person might do right after eating a big Thanksgiving dinner. Go for a walk. Okay. Go for a walk. Wow. Megan, I got to tell you, you are a really good player. I hope so. No, you really are. You have done it before. It's only one answer left, though. Talk with family and share stories. Good night. Good night. Talk with family. <laughs> Go to the bathroom. Hey, Woods. Go to the bathroom. Let's see what we got, fellas. Big Will, we need this one. Name oh. something a person might do right after eating a big Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, sometimes they get stuffed, you know, and stuff themselves up. They have to use the restroom. <laughs> you gotta go to the bathroom. Get out there! Go to the bathroom. <laughs> Number five. I have a special talent I want to share with you. Is that okay? Well. Gobble, gobble. I'm a turkey gobbling champion. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> See, it sound, when I say it, it sounds like everybody get the hell out of here. <laughs> She's the champ, you know. She's the champ. This isn't just any turkey goblin. This is championship God. One more titty. Huh? Huh? Thanksgiving, huh? You're thinking Thanksgiving, right? I'm thinking it. Okay, I've been working on it. Okay, show it to me one more time. I ain't gonna be able to get that right there. <laughs> How about a turkey that's, uh, see my turkey wounded? has, yeah, wounded and being chased. Oh. <laughs> Helping you out. I'm glad you did that. Last time a woman had her hand over my mouth, we were 
something else was happening. <laughs> Guys, here we go. We've got the top eight answers on the board. Name a reason you might not go to your in-laws for Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Justin. Don't like the cooking. Don't like the cooking. I don't like them. I don't want to go. You just don't like them. I don't want to go. She just don't like them. They're going to play. Yeah. Nancy, how you doing today, darling? I'm doing really good. We're going for the car, so let's yeah. get it on. Name a reason you might not go to your in-laws for Thanksgiving dinner. Because I have to work. Because I have to work. Yeah. Kathy? Because I want to have my own Thanksgiving. Because I want right. to have my own... Thanksgiving. <laughs> Big sexy salsa. <laughs> Here we go, man. Name a reason you might not go to your in-laws for Thanksgiving. 31 what? years, you've had this moment. <laughs> I don't want to get involved with the gossip. Don't All want right. to get involved <laughs> with the gossip. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ralph, name a reason you might not go to your in-laws for Thanksgiving dinner. Because you got into a fight with your significant other. Wow. OK. Just got into a fight with your significant other. We got two strikes, Rebecca. You got to be careful. The Holloway family can steal. I have to get there somehow. So if I don't have transportation, people in New York I always want to use that. I don't have a way. The train stopped. <laughs> Transportation! All the way, family. Here you go. Name a reason you might not go to your in-laws for Thanksgiving dinner. We're gonna say, um, we can't afford it. We don't have enough, we don't have the finances to go. They're not sure what you mean by that. Like, it's too far. I live in Raleigh. My mother lives in Mississippi. It's, it's, it's too, too far. Right. OK. Yeah. It's too far. <laughs> Number eight. <laughs> the food killed him. Number seven. <laughs> Number four. Illness. Name something from the kitchen you can use to get something cooking in the bedroom. Mike? Gravy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, though? Gravy. You'd be amazed. <laughs> <laughs> Imagination. <laughs> but, but then he did this. Hey, <laughs> pull a little bit out there. You be, hey, hey, that boy learning something down at that college, ain't he? <laughs> Gravy. Andrew. An apron. <laughs> Lean in here a little bit. Lean in here a little bit. Pow! <laughs> <laughs> Apron! We got top six answers on the board. Name a kind of bird you'd be shocked to see someone serve at Thanksgiving. Lorraine. Crow. Crow. Don. A parrot. A parrot. They're going to play. All right, folks, got a car on the line here. Let's get it done. Name a kind of bird you'd be shocked to see someone serve at Thanksgiving. A pigeon. Pigeon. Miss Cheryl, name yes. a kind of bird you'd be shocked to see somebody serve at Thanksgiving. An owl. Yes! Yeah. 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 I'd be shocked because I'd be trying to figure out where the hell you found it at. An owl. <laughs> Oh, 
DJ? A Colin Powell Eagle, Steve. DJ? Let us pray. Father. <laughs> yes, Jesus. Yes, God. At Eagle! Yeah! Give it up, DJ, you good? I'm good, man. I'm feeling great right now, man. Ain't nobody tell me nothing. <laughs> All right, uh, Salida, here we go. <laughs> Name a kind of bird you'd be shocked to see somebody serve at Thanksgiving. Steve, I'd be shocked if good old Chili Willy the penguin was at my dinner table. A penguin! <laughs> That's a good answer. Listen, Rain, you gotta be careful now. We got two strikes. The Kawi family can steal. Dove on the table. Oh, good answer. A dove! Oh. we family, here we go. Miss Angela, name a kind of bird you'd be shocked. See someone serve at Thanksgiving. How about a hawk? Good answer. Good answer. A hawk! <laughs> Number four. Three. Chicken. Name something you might do with a dead pet that you wouldn't do with a dead relative. I know some country folk down my way and uh, they'd eat it. Yeah. 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 They'd eat it. Yeah. 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 I was a little boy in West Virginia. I had a pet turkey. <laughs> I had a pet turkey in West, West Virginia. <laughs> Thanksgiving, I couldn't find him. <laughs> I heard my mama say, Slick, when you gonna tell that boy that you killed this turkey? <laughs> I was standing in the door with, <laughs> That's a good ass turkey, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> Little Ralphie was some good. <laughs> All right, eat it. <laughs> Name a holiday that might be the busiest night of the year for sex in America. Thanksgiving Day. You really want to make me thankful. Yeah. You give me some of that Thanksgiving pie. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, you got to eat. Point values are double. We got the top six answers on the board. Here we go. Name something people run across their lips. Gravy. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to give the safest answer you can. <laughs> you know, good in hell, Will. That ain't up here. <laughs> Gravy. Top six answers on the board. Here we go. Name something you hope Grandpa doesn't do at the Thanksgiving table. Heard. Fart. Fart. <laughs> Pass the play. We gonna play. We gonna play. <laughs> Chantel, tell me something you hope Grandpa don't do at the Thanksgiving uh, table. Burp. Burp. Say something you hope Grandpa don't do at the Thanksgiving table. Fall asleep. Yes, Fall asleep. Yeah. Miss Eva, tell me something you hope Grandpa don't do at the Thanksgiving table. Curse. Yeah. Start cursing. Good yeah. 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 Curse. Oh. Carice, name something you hope Grandpa doesn't do at the Thanksgiving table. Get drunk. Yes. Get drunk. Yeah. 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 Herb, we got two strikes. You gotta be careful. Bonesky family can steal. Tell his corny jokes. Yeah. Tell oh, them answer. corny jokes. Good answer. Oh. 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 Oh
get to it, Doc. All right, Rhonda, you name something you hope Grandpa doesn't do at the Thanksgiving table. Lose his dentures. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Lose his dentures. Six. Four. Five. Oh. 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 Other than turkey, name something else that people stuff on Thanksgiving. Themselves. Themselves. Yep. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 Hey, kid. Other than turkey, name something else that people stuff on Thanksgiving. Uh, potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Potatoes! Yeah. Hey, Rhonda, on, other than turkey, name something else people stuff on Thanksgiving. I'm gonna say pheasant. Let's be careful now. We got two strikes here. If it's not there, the Hutchinson family can steal and win. Let's go with uh, peppers. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Stuff peppers. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. 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 Wanda, yeah. two okay. strikes. If it's there, okay. you're still alive. If it's not there, though, the other team can steal and win. Other than turkey, name something else that people stuff on Thanksgiving. How about a chicken? Yeah. Stuff a chicken. Right? Stuff a chicken. Oh! All right, Hutchinson family, this one answer decides it all. Here we go. Other than turkey, name something else that people stuff on Thanksgiving. Steve, we're gonna go with duck. This is for the win. Duck! part of a person a cannibal family fights over at Thanksgiving dinner? A leg. A leg. <laughs> <laughs> a leg. Yeah! Oh, we're gonna play Steve. Thank you, all right. Yeah. Amber, part of a person that a cannibal family fights over at Thanksgiving? A breast. Yeah! yeah. Yes. <laughs> a breast. A breast. <laughs> Brandon, part of a person the cannibal family fights over at the Thanksgiving dinner. Steve, I'm going with the butt. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. 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 one of your favorites, huh, Brandon? You know, both yeah. of them last two. Ain't no butt on no turkey. <laughs> But Lord have mercy, we ain't talking about a turkey though, all. No, we're talking about person. Well, let's talk about it. Yeah. But <laughs> Chris, you give me a part of a person the cannibal family fights over Thanksgiving. The heart. Good answer. The heart. Yeah. Yeah. Derek, this ain't got nothing to do with your mother-in-law being out there, so let's try to get one of these, okay? Name a part of a person the cannibal family fights over Thanksgiving. The brain. Yeah. 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 The brain. Yeah. 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 Rebecca, one answer left. If it's there, you clear the board. Name a part of a person the cannibal family fights over Thanksgiving dinner. Steve, I'm gonna go with the R. Oh. Oh. The R. Oh. One answer left, you clear the board. Only one strike. Name a part of a person the cannibal family fights over at Thanksgiving dinner. Well, Steve, I'm gonna go with the head. The head. Good answer, good answer. Good answer. Yeah, that's up there. 
You think that might be? Yep. Yeah, I do too. Hey, Brandon, you do too? Yeah, I support. Well, you just got married. So. <laughs> yeah, you know, you pretty much got to go with this Absolutely. right now, Brandon. That's good. New yes, way dear, you no. say, I support it. Yeah. 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 Y'all really do belong together. Because, <laughs> Brandon, you're doing a good job, man. <laughs> you, you standing by your girl. You're saying all the right stuff. Boy, too bright. Well, you, I hope you got one, because this ain't up here. Hey! Oh, that's all right. That's all right. All right, Brandon, we got one answer left, man. You can clear the board, but you got to be careful. You got two strikes. Stone family can steal. Steve, I'm going with the tongue. Stone family, name a part of a person a cannibal family fights over at the Thanksgiving dinner. How about ribs? They'll kill you in my house over some ribs. Ribs! <laughs> Number six. <laughs> name something about a female turkey that's so sexy a male turkey wants to gobble her up. Anya. Her breasts. Her breasts, okay. <laughs> Thighs. Thighs. <laughs> Pass the plate. Danny, how you feeling? Great, man. You feeling good? Yeah. Feeling good? Awesome. I love it, man. Let's do it, you a bro. cool guy, too, man. Name something about a female turkey that's so sexy a male turkey wants to gobble her up. The way that turkey walks. The way the turkey walks. <laughs> Julie, name something about a female turkey that's so sexy a male turkey wants to gobble her up. Maybe she has a sexy tush. tush. A sexy tush. <laughs> Jamie, something about a female turkey that's so sexy, a male turkey wants to gobble her up. How about the noise she makes? The gobble, gobble? Gobble, oh, yeah. gobble. gobble. Lady, name something about a female turkey that's so sexy a male turkey wants to gobble her up. How about how popular she is? Yeah! yeah. yeah. All the turkeys know her! <laughs> Don, you name something about a female turkey so sexy a male turkey wants to gobble her up. Her pretty little face. Yeah. Her pretty face! Danny, my man, name <laughs> something right. about a female turkey so sexy, male turkey want to gobble her up. All right, I might be in Thanksgiving mode here, but the way that turkey tastes, oh, man! Yeah. The way that turkey tastes! Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 You met that turkey, you didn't waste no time. Yeah. <laughs> it's the way that turkey tastes. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, Danny, you just met her, killed her, and cooked her. <laughs> yeah. Julie, we got two strikes. You got to be careful. Schaefer family can steal. Name something about a female turkey that's so sexy, a male turkey wants to gobble her up. You know, maybe he's looking at her and thinks she's got a sexy neck. A turkey yes. neck. A nice turkey neck. Jamie, one answer left. If it's there, Thank you it. clear the board, but you got two strikes. Schaefer family can steal. Steve, how about yeah. her head? Good answer. Good answer. Sexy head. <laughs> her head. <laughs> Oh! 
Name something about a female turkey that's so sexy. A male turkey wants to gobble her up. Her personality. Her personality. <laughs> something people hunt for that doesn't require a gun. Turkey. A turkey, a turkey, a turkey, a turkey. <laughs> turkey! <laughs> that was the worst answer. <laughs> that just happened to fit under the bird category. <laughs> Name a way you describe a Thanksgiving turkey and your lover. Hot. Hot. <laughs> Jimmy. Juicy. Ju all right now, juicy. <laughs> now, listen to me. See, they both have 19. Oh. She buzzed in first, she gets oh. choice. We gonna pass the play. We gonna play. We gonna play. <laughs> Hey, Lindsay. Hi, Steve. Good, good. What do you do? I actually am the healthcare services coordinator at a firm in St. Louis, Andrew CPA Plus Advisors. Just started there last week. Really? Yes, sir. But can hey. I drop something on you now? Yeah. I'll tell you what I used to do. Okay. I used to be a warden at a 1500 all male medium security facility. <laughs> a warden? Yes, sir. <laughs> Lock me up. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> yeah. I'm number four, six, five, nine. <laughs> That should be the best looking warden I've ever seen. <laughs> we talked to 100 women. Name a way you describe a Thanksgiving turkey and your lover. I'm going to say plump, Steve. Good plump. Yeah. Uh, Ted? Yes, sir. Uh, we ask 100 women, name a way you describe a Thanksgiving turkey and your lover. Well, not necessarily in my case, but brown. Well, that was funny, Pastor. Glad you, glad you said it. <laughs> Brown. <laughs> Nicole, yes, what sir. do you do? Not only am I the pastor's wife, but I'm also a nursing professor. In our in our spare time, we've been busy making a making baby on board. <laughs> oh, you got one. This your first one. Our first together. Oh, okay, good. What is this y'all having? Do you a know? girl. Having a girl. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good then. Y'all picked out a name yet? We have. Yes. Oh, you, okay. You ain't telling nobody. You don't have to. You don't Go have to. You, you don't have to. Ava Lynn Macon. I guess we just made it official. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because you know. What they do on this show sometimes, they'll give you a name tag for the oh. baby if you wanted that. Oh. But if you was trying to keep it a secret, that's why I say you didn't have to tell them. That's a pretty name, though. Ava, Ava Lynn? Ava Lynn Macon. Ava, Ava Lynn Macon. Yes, okay, sir. That's pretty good. All right, Nicole. Yes, sir. Here we go. We talked to 100 women. Name a way you describe a Thanksgiving turkey and your lover. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Theodore, yes. talk to 100 women. Name a way you describe a Thanksgiving turkey and your lover. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Theodore, you just in there handling your beard. What you say? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well done. I'm talking about can't get no more. You well done. Ain't no, you, that's well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> All right, Rachel, now we got two strikes. We got to be careful here. The Lowe family can steal. 
Talk to 100 women. Name the way you describe a Thanksgiving turkey and your lover. Dry. <laughs> Dry. Oh. All right, ladies, we asked 100 women, name the way you describe a Thanksgiving turkey and your lover. We're going to say stuffed. Yeah. Stuffed. Name a traffic sign you like to hold up at a Thanksgiving dinner with relatives. Stop. Stop. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. <laughs> Leslie, give me a traffic sign you like to hold up at Thanksgiving dinner with relatives. Yield? Yield. Good answer. Scott, come on, man. Give me a traffic sign you like to hold up at Thanksgiving with relatives. One way. One way. Come on. Christine, thank you very much. <laughs> give me a traffic sign you'd like to hold up at Thanksgiving with relatives. Caution. Caution. <laughs> Tyra, let's go. Give me a traffic sign you like to hold up Thanksgiving dinner with your relatives. How about like a roundabout? Oh. You want to turn around? No? Steve? Huh? No. A roundabout? No what is that sign? So it's a circle and there's circle. little uh, lines going every, every direction that somebody can... Yeah. And it's a circle mm -hmm. with arrows going out of it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right, Josh, we got two strikes. Got to be careful. Math is family can steal. Traffic sign you like to hold up Thanksgiving dinner with relatives. Since it's Thanksgiving, how about a fork in the road? Fork in the road. <laughs> clever. Very clever. Fork in the road. In the road. <laughs> Name a traffic sign you like to hold up at a Thanksgiving dinner with relatives. We're going to say, do not enter. Do not enter. <laughs> That's for my Aunt Agnes. <laughs> Number six. Five. Four. At the Thanksgiving table, name a reason people are bowing their heads. To pray. To pray. We're gonna play. Tanya, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are Welcome you? Welcome back. That's Thank good. You. At the Thanksgiving table, name a reason people are bowing their heads. To eat their food. To eat their food. <laughs> Andrea, welcome back. At the Thanksgiving table, name a reason people are bowing their heads. Spitting out their food. <laughs> Spitting out their food. All uh, right, you ready to play? I'm ready. At the Thanksgiving table, name the reason people are bowing their head. To pick something up, Steve. Good up! Good up. Good up. Good up. Good up. To pick something up. Uh, Valerie, at the Thanksgiving table, name the reason people are bowing their heads. To cough. To cough. Good answer. That's a good answer. Uh, Come on, man. We got to pull it together. We got two strikes. Got to be careful. Riley family can steal. Thanksgiving table. Name the reason people are bowing their heads. 
Bug crawl on the floor. Huh? Bug crawl on the floor. On the floor, number six. <laughs> At the Thanksgiving table, name the reason people are bowing their heads. Steve, because they fell asleep. They, they fell asleep. <laughs> was mad at Grandpa on Thanksgiving, so she stuffed the turkey with his what? Underwear. Underwear. Every time she comes, I ain't never seen nothing like it. Man, you need a little crazy. <laughs> they get you. To, and don't you like money? And <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Well, stop. well, let me share something with you. I'm on my third marriage. I've had all the crazy I need. <laughs> and that part about money? You still got it. Well, I, I lost it twice before. <laughs> but I'd have, made a, I'd have made a hella comeback, though. Yeah. You better understand. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> all right, darling, Elizabeth, let's go. Fill in the blank. Grandma was mad at Grandpa on Thanksgiving, so she stuffed the turkey with his what? Toothbrush? With his toothbrush. <laughs> Becca, Grandma was mad at Grandpa on Thanksgiving, so she stuffed the turkey with his what? Glasses. Glasses. Yeah. Oh, All right, we got two strikes, Chancey. We got to be careful now. The other family can steal. Grandma was mad at Grandpa on Thanksgiving, so she stuffed the turkey with his what? Hearing aid. With his hearing aid. Oh. <laughs> All right, family. Grandma was mad at Grandpa on Thanksgiving, so she stuffed the turkey with his what? With his dentures. With his dentures. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> That's messed up. Four. Three. Man, That's really messed up. What might you put marijuana in at Thanksgiving so the family's too mellow to argue? Turkey. Turkey. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play, Steve. We're gonna play. <laughs> hey, Lena. How are you? Halito, Steve, I'm doing good. I'm Native American. Oh, I... Yes. <laughs> oh, that's cool, then. Mississippi, Mississippi. Really? Yes, sir. Philadelphia, Mississippi. Philadelphia, Mississippi. That's where the Mississippi Band of Choctaw Indians resides. Yeah. Really? That's pretty good. Alex? <laughs> What might you put the marijuana in at Thanksgiving so the family's too mellow to argue? The dressing. Put it in what dressing. <laughs> what might you put marijuana in at Thanksgiving so the family's too mellow to argue? Pecan pie. Yeah. Pecan pie. <laughs> Watch this here. Rochelle. Yes, sir. Boy, huh? I'm nailing them. Huh? <laughs> you know why? That's the chalk talk uh, in me. <laughs> Rochelle. <laughs> B. 
What might you put marijuana in at Thanksgiving so the family's too mellow to argue? Rose. Put it in the rose. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's all right, my lease. Okay, cool. Elise? Oh, sorry. No, I was gonna say, I can see through your hair. <laughs> it must be the choc though in you. Yeah, that's what it is, girl. How do you know? We're cousins. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, what's up? You know what I'm saying? For all that. <laughs> Fitting right in over here. What might you put marijuana in at Thanksgiving so the family's too mellow to argue? Since we're from Mississippi, I'll say the sweet tea. Put it in the sweet tea. Oh. Oh, we got two strikes. We gotta be careful, Nalina. What might you put marijuana in at Thanksgiving so the family's too mellow to argue? I wanna say the green bean casserole. Yeah. <laughs> green bean casserole. <laughs> What might you put marijuana in at Thanksgiving so the family's too mellow to argue? Yams. Put it in the yams. <laughs> Number six. Gravy. Three. Mm. Top six answers on the board. If roles were reversed, what part of a human might turkeys fight over at Thanksgiving? The neck. The neck. Breast. The breast. Yes, Pass the point. Let's see. All right, Major. All right, all right. If roles were reversed, what part of a human might turkeys fight over at Thanksgiving? Legs. Over the legs. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Toy? Yes. How you doing? I'm great. If roles were reversed, what part of a human might turkeys fight over at Thanksgiving? The gizzards? You got it. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Yes. Good answer. Good answer. Yes. The question was, <laughs> If roles were reversed, what part of a human might turkeys fight over Thanksgiving? Your answer is gizzard. <laughs> I'm gonna be the first to admit I wasn't really a good student, okay? <laughs> Just really want health class. I probably think I got a D. <laughs> I don't remember nowhere in the health class <laughs> them mentioning my damn gizzard. <laughs> You got it. You got it. It's up to you. It's up to you, Steve. Gives it. Oh. Good answer, though. Good answer. Let's go, Sandra. Hey, Rashawn. If roles were reversed, <laughs> what part of a human might turkeys fight over Thanksgiving? I'm going to say the foot. Chicken foot. The foot. Good human answer. foot. Feet. Good answer. Good answer. Uh, it'll be our feet. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard what she said, but she said, I'm gonna say the foot, Steve, the chicken foot. I don't know if I'm not reading this correctly. I don't know if my stutter has come back. But I swear for God, I ain't say chicken. And when have you ever been in the fight over a chicken foot? Chicken foot. <laughs> okay, if, if roles were reversed, what part of a human might turkeys fight over at Thanksgiving? The arm. Yeah, good answer. When two strikes, let's be careful. If roles were reversed, what part of a human might turkeys fight over Thanksgiving? The back. 
the back. <laughs> We're part of the human life turkey's fight over Thanksgiving. We're gonna go with the juicy butt. The butt. Number six. Four. Grandpa showed up to Thanksgiving dinner without his false teeth. So he's not gonna be able to eat any what? Turkey. Turkey. Uh, I, I pretty much gathered that. <laughs> you walked off, I said, I assumed that meant follow sorry, me. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Miss K, Grandpa left his false teeth at Thanksgiving, so he's not gonna be able to eat any what? Ham. Ain't gonna be able to eat no ham. Number seven. Dwayne, Grandpa showed up Thanksgiving without his false teeth. Now he can't eat no what? Green bean casserole, Steve. <laughs> Up there. Green bean casserole. <laughs> Miss Marie, we got one strike. Grandpa showed up Thanksgiving without his teeth, so he's not gonna be able to eat any what? Uh, apple pie. <laughs> apple pie! Oh. All right, now, we got two strikes. We gotta be careful, folks. If it's not there, the other family can steal and play sudden death. I'm gonna go with pecan pie. Yeah. Pecan pie! Christy, I got one answer on that board. If you can give me that answer, Christy, your family wins the game, but your family gonna drive out of here in a brand new car. Grandpa showed up at Thanksgiving dinner without his teeth, so he's not gonna be able to eat any what? I'm gonna go with rolls, like bread, rolls. He won't be able to eat any of those delicious hot rolls. <laughs> Family, here's the situation. This is what I got. I got one answer, one answer only. If it's there, your family wins this game. But if it's not there, the Henderson family wins the game and drives out of here in a brand new car. Grandpa showed up Thanksgiving dinner without his false teeth. So now he's not going to be able to eat any what? Fried chicken! He won't be able to eat any fried chicken! <laughs>